from the studios of Foxborough Cable Access, located in the center of Foxborough, Massachusetts, you are watching Around Foxborough. Welcome back to another episode of Around Foxborough. My name is Julie Love. I'm your host. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we have a wonderful guest. Um, her name is Margaret uh, Pimentel. And she is the owner of the new restaurant that just opened on December 30th, 2020 at the Patriot Place. And in the restaurant is called Achiritos Cafeteria. So we would like to welcome Margaret. Thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you. Margaret, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? Like, no, what do you do? Um, so I am the owner of Hachelitos Taqueria. Um, I have been, I'm an immigrant, but I lived here in Boston um, most of my life. Uh, so I am a local kid uh, looking to eat some great Mexican food. So are you originally from Mexico? I am not. I am originally from the Dominican Republic. But I love spicy food and I love bold food and I couldn't find that anywhere. So um, we decided to um, start kind of thinking about where we, if we could even, if the concept was even viable. Do people like spicy food? Do they want spicy Mexican? Do they want bold flavors? And I think that they do. So when did you start Achilitos? Achilitos. Uh, Achilito is a type of chile found in the mountains. It's hard to harvest and actually it was uh, in the brink of extinction. Um, but um, there was a, a big rain uh, a couple of years ago that actually a lot of them started to regrow. And um, the seeds um, were thankfully saved for um, future generations. Yes. So. Um what was the first year that you started? So I know this is not, I've heard, not the first location that you started. So where and when did you start your first location? So we started in October 2018 in the Jamaica Plain area. So the first location is actually um, right in front of a train and bus station. Um, and it was underserved. So there was really no fresh food options in that area right in front of a very densely, highly used um, train station such as Forest Hills. And so we decided to um, pro provide these services to the community. Cause I've taken, I've been on that bus route and taken that train for many years. And sometimes I was hungry and there was nowhere to stop and grab a healthy bite. So what made you really want to start your own restaurant? Um, I desired to be my own boss. So, um, in the fact that I really enjoy eating and I really enjoy eating spicy food and I wanted to provide a service to the community where they could eat healthy quality food at, in the Jamaica Plain area in front of Forest Hills to service all those, um, people that live in the surrounding communities, such as Rossendale, Manapan, Roxbury, um, Hyde Park, all being serviced through that bus and train hub. So you have your first location in Jamaica Plain, but now you just opened the second location um, yes. at the Patriot Place in Foxborough, um, which we're very happy yes. to have you. Thank um, you. Yes, so how did you decide to open your new location at Patriot Place? So we, uh, so I got approached by someone um, that I knew um, about the opportunity of this um, particular location being available. Um, I was hesitant given the pandemic and everything, but I was encouraged. And I also thankfully had been through the Satander Cultivate program and they encouraged you to take risks, but take calculated risk. And um, I understood that an opportunity like this would not come by a second time. So we decided to risk and jump and see what happens. 
Thankfully, it's been great. Awesome. So, uh, what type of food do you serve, and then how did you come up with the menu? So we serve um, high quality food that I want to eat. So we season our food like I would at home, um, and uh, I want to want it to be food that you would be proud to serve to your children uh, when you're having a busy day and you wanna. As the mom give them a good meal, but you don't have the time. So you can either order online or you can come and do a quick bite with the kids or with your husband and just have something that's fast but quality. Um, so the way we developed our menu is, you know, what would I want to eat? You know, I started looking through recipes, old cookbooks, and um, slowly but surely over a year, um, we, I have... Um, I say we because it's, it's just the way I speak, I'm sorry. Uh, I developed those recipes just by kind of uh, trial and error with my, uh, my, with my kids. What do they like? If it wasn't too spicy, how can I adjust it? Or if it was more towards an adult palate, then let's make it spicy. What's not too spicy or what's too flavorful or bold, you know, just trial and error. So what are the things on your menu right now at the Patriot Place? So you can order um, burritos, bowls. There's a kit, um, burrito bowls and quesadillas, also quesadillas available for adults. Um, and, and we have uh, four proteins. We have um, grilled shrimp, grilled chicken, ancho um, steak. We also have a lot of the um, things other people love, like uh, carnitas, um, pork and chile verde. Um, and we have taquitos, which are very uh, popular here. People um, love the, the spiciness of them. Um, so there's lots to pick from. So you have uh, tacos also? Yes. Quesadilla. Tacos, quesadillas, and uh, taquitos for appetizers and empanadas. I also want to mention that we have a vegan menu that's pretty um, ample. So we have fajitas, plantains, and we also have impossible um, meat. So you can do that burger, you can do a bowl or even a taco with the impossible. And we also have a large um, gluten-free and... Um, and free and uh, we're working on making our menu also soy free wow that's great and then what is important um what is important to you when it comes to running agilitos fresh quality mexican food that is our man mantra so every day we are preparing from scratch even our proteins they're cooked daily um, and we just want to make sure that you're eating fresh quality food because that's what we need as a as a community we we just sometimes don't have the time in our busy schedules especially with working at home with children and how everything is just very busy right now um so we just want to make sure where we have high quality um, food to provide to our patients yes and then I was very happy to try um, your menu. I visited with my children and then they loved it. And then they had a kid size burrito that was perfect for my son. And then um, I really liked the ground beef that you had. I don't know how you seasoned it, but um, and I don't know how you call it either, but um, I had some ground beef on my bowl. I, so I, I chose bowl and then I had this uh, green, uh, red and yellow pepper, maybe. Yes, yeah, fajitas. Yeah, yes. Uh huh. And then um, it was just like everything guacamole and then rice, beans. Everything was just very, very tasty. As you said, it's very fresh, and mm -hmm. I didn't like you know feel like it was a chain or anything. I felt very at home. Yes. Yes. And that's because of the, you know, the quality and the fact that, you know, it's not, it's made throughout the day and it's, uh, it's not sitting there and it's not coming from uh, a third party, you know, it's being made here daily. So what do you want Achilles to be known for? 
fresh quality Mexican food. <laughs> um, so we just want to be known for um, our freshness, our friendliness, and just, you know, a yummy meal anytime. That's great. And do you have a website or social media, maybe Facebook, Instagram, that people can yes. follow? Yes. So um, you can order online at achilitos.com um, from any of our stores. And also you can follow us at achilitos taqueria at Instagram. How about Facebook? Same? Facebook also, yes. And then how, what people, what kind of things do people find on Instagram, like your food, like a menu, or updates and stuff? So they go, they'll find um, photos of our food and also they'll find um, some of the services that we've been doing in the community. So we have um, participated with the Boston Relief Fund to provide meals throughout the city to um, homeless shelters, the Salvation Army, with um, in collaboration with um, Commonwealth Kitchens. And also um, we recently received grant from the Boston, the Black Economic Council to provide meals locally also. We've uh, provided that to the um, BYSC. And um, we've also recently received another grant from the Boston Health Commission to provide um, 2,000 meals um, in the next um, couple of months. And uh, we are also working with local communities, uh, community-led programs uh, such as ABCD um, and the Salvation Army to provide meals to um, young adults and uh, teenagers and uh, people in need in, around the city. Wow, that's really impressive. So that's like based on Jamaica Play location, not yet for the Patriot Place, right? Yes, uh, that's, uh, I've been so thankful to be participating in that because it has um, allowed us to give back and it uh, has allowed us to connect through to other people in the community that we might not have gotten to know otherwise. Yes. But uh, my question was, those relationships that you have built over the years, the community uh -huh. aspect of it, that is really based on Jamaica Plain location, not the Patriot Place location, correct? Yes, correct. Because it's very new. So what are uh, maybe the community service aspect of it that you would like to develop uh, with the location in the Patriot Place? So we are looking to reach out to the YMCA to provide um, some meals also to um, youth in need uh, or people in need in this community. So that's one of the local projects that we're working on. That's great. Yeah, Foxboro YMCA is great. And North Attleboro is close too. And then um, there's food pantry as well. I'm very happy that you got a grant um, to help support um, other people through your restaurant, especially from the Jamaica Plain location. Um, I'm sure the needs are greater and the grant that you received, you can serve a lot of people. Thank you. I will let you know when we're doing any of those events. Yes, absolutely. So um, you are the owner of the restaurant and like you know did you have a lot of support um, from your friends or family when you first started yes um you know i was hesitant um but thankfully um i was able to make the jump and uh even though we are still kind of fighting our feet and um making sure that we're viable and successful in the long term um, I think we're on the right path so did you go to like a business school to learn I didn't um, so just from my engineering background I was able to kind of understand you know that everything needs a means and method and you need processes so I've kind of tried to integrate that into the business and then I was lucky to be chosen to participate in the um, Cultivate program by Satan there, and they uh, have uh, I want to say 
six, eight classes that you attend to on a all day schedule. And they um, teach you different aspects of the food business. And they uh, help you think through all the different um, methods and means of running a business and how to pivot and what are, where are the opportunities and where to identify them and how to approach moving forward with those opportunities. So I heard a little bit that you are not, um, you, you study something completely different than uh, restaurant business. What, okay. what was your major and what was your uh, focus? So I went to UMass Amherst and I was, a, I am an electrical engineer, um, but I am, I am looking to chart a different path. So did you work as an um, electrical engineer after graduation? I did. I, I worked for over 12, 13 years. I'm just looking to have more control of my schedule. Wow. So it was yeah. a big career change for you to be. Yes, it was a big jump. Um, but I am looking towards the next challenge in my life and the next um, adventure. Wow. So what does this um, engineering side of mind apply when you are running the business? So it allows me to think in blocks. So everything has uh, everything that we do here, whether it's prepping or um, the daily schedules and the daily flow of the kitchen, it allows me to see how can we make this an action that can be improved upon and is it, the, is it at its best and can we reiterate can we can we make it better can we make it more efficient so that's your engineering mind when you're yes. running the restaurant i'm always looking for improvements there's always a better way to do something and then i see that you're sitting actually at the agios at the restaurant yes. place so I see your colorful wall in the background. Who painted that wall? Yes, um, this artwork is by Akoma Art. He's a local artist in Boston, um, and he's really great at capturing movement and color and just bringing brightness into a space. Yeah, I noticed when I entered, it was very welcoming vibe and the color yes. in yes. Like the art was like so wonderful. It's just very exciting to enter. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we wanted to focus on just making you feel happy when you walk in. Yes, absolutely. And um, so you have been there since December 30th, so it's been just a couple of weeks. How do you like Foxborough so far? Oh, we love it. People are super friendly. Um, they have been very accepting and welcoming and um, they're excited to be here. And we're excited to be here and we are looking forward to many years of being here in Foxborough. Great. And have you met all these other restaurants owner at the Patriot Place? Um, not yet, just because the first couple of days are so crazy, just kind of getting everything in place and moving, moving. but um, I'm sure in a couple of weeks I will. Yes, we would love to see you more uh, involved in the community of Foxborough and then yes. we really encourage everyone to uh, come check it out, uh, not only just the food, but the atmosphere and then welcome feeling and then I really I really thought it was very different experience than uh, going to say some franchise and I felt very at home um, and again the food quality was excellent. Is that a secret to share some of the recipe for say for instance one of the ground beef that I tried? Is it like homemade like you know secret recipe from your family or something? Oh. Um we keep it pretty tight, yes. Uh, we, um, we cook everything in-house. You'll see the stove and the grill um, cooking, and um, we use fresh chiles, dry chiles, just like we would do it at home. So that's what you're tasting, that freshness. That's wonderful. Well, I really hope that a lot of people would try out um, 
your restaurant at the Patriot Place、um, this coming、yeah. year. And then I really hope that you would be more engaged in the community of Foxborough, not just Boston. I feel like you have definitely established a great relationship with these big organizations in Boston. Yes, but thank you. Yeah, there are more to serve in this area as well. So we are very happy to have you and then have your mindset of the community aspect, community service aspect to it too. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and、uh, I'll see you soon. Sure. So, do you have any last message for the audience in Foxborough?、Um, stop by, look,、um, stop by and,、uh, and check out our space, and maybe you'll stop and eat a bite, maybe try a taco. And if you like a taco, go for it. You know,、um, We're here to serve and stop by and say hello. Well, thank you, Margaret, for、uh, being around Foxborough today. Thank you so much. Great. Well, thank you everyone for watching another episode of Around Foxborough. My name is Julie Love. Our website is fcatv.org. Our executive director is Michael Weber, and our director is Paul Beck. And we are looking forward to another episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.